you gotta be there for me too So the intro that I filmed was blurry, so I'm going to refilm this part. So hey guys, so for those of you guys who will follow me on Instagram, you guys would know that I went to LA and I went just to go see my family and do some shopping and just have some fun before I start working for the whole summer. So um, yeah, I went for 11 days and I got back last night, so enjoy the video. And I was about to start unpacking and then I was thinking to myself like, I've already got all the new items that I bought in my carry-on suitcase, which is right here. So I was like, I might as well just film a short video, a short little like Los Angeles haul of the things that I bought. This video was anything but short. Um, for the most part, it's like clothes, accessories, some makeup, and shoes. So let me get into that right now. So I got this turmeric and I'm guessing that's like vitamin C brightening mask. Um, it's a sheet mask. There's always someone coming to my house. I did, anyways. Um, I did an Instagram story. I'll be putting this mask on, just something like cute and fun. So I filmed that, and so far I really like it. I'm gonna give it another try, because I only used it once when I was in LA, but it's definitely like this, and it's pretty affordable too. Um, the next thing I have is this um, pouch. It is so cute. It is marble and light pink, and I'm literally obsessed with it. I got it because it fits my phone really nicely uh, from when I go to the gym. So you can just wear it on your arm like this. And um, yeah, I was actually using it throughout the airport and I was able to put like my passport and ID and money all in here and it was super easy and fun to use. So definitely a good purchase and I got this from TJ Maxx. But one of the things I really wanted to get was a um, brown, like basic, basic eyeshadow palette with like no shimmer, just like a bunch of brown shades because I find that like I'm not the best with eyeshadow, so brown is always safe for my skin tone and all that kind of stuff. But I ended up finding this Perfusion Mixed Metals 9 Matte and Metallic Eyeshadow Palette. The colors are so nice, but um, it's got like a nice brown and then like a couple nudish colors and then some shimmers that I actually really liked using for like highlight and stuff like that. So unfortunately I didn't get my dream all brown palette, but I'm still going to keep looking for one of those. I got that from um, Ross. And then um, I also got some hoop earrings. So hoops, yeah. So I ended up getting these in silver and gold. I can't find the gold ones. I will show you when I find them. But um, like I was saying, my friend really wanted them and she's more into like the bigger hoops and I'm just kind of like starting off. So I'm probably gonna take this smaller pair and then give her the other two larger pairs to have. Okay, there. Like as you can see, these ones are pretty big. They were super big back in the day, and now they're coming back, and I'm kind of here for it. So I'm gonna give those a try. Oh, those were from, I think it's called a swap meet. Yeah, they have this big, like, I don't even know what it's called, like a huge store, and it's got a bunch of smaller stores in it, and I just need to call it the swap meet. And I got these, they were $1.99 American each. So I thought that was pretty good. Um, next I went to Elf, and this whole haul is like not in any order. <laughs> Smart. Um, I went to Elf because they have like a standalone Elf uh, store in like one of the Westfield malls. I got the Pore Toner Balm with Green Tea and Witch Hazel and I really have been looking for something like this. I'm just saying it's like evens out skin tone and I don't wear foundation. Like I'm not wearing it now and I don't normally wear it a lot unless I'm going out. So I just wanted something that wasn't like heavy but um, something that would just make my skin look good without wearing foundation. So I got this. This was $6 Canadian. I mean American. Um, I also got like a, it's this HD concealer in the color medium, which is like really light for my skin, but I currently use the, what is the concealer that I use? So I currently use the NARS concealer in um, hazelnut medium dark, and I just feel like it's a little too dark and I like it a bit more brightening. So my plan is to use that and then mix it with this from e.l.f. It's a small one and I think this was like $3 to me. $3 American. The next thing I want to show you guys were the foundations I got. So every time I go to LA or anywhere in the US, I try and pick up a foundation just because they offer a lot more um, foundation colors for women of darker skin tones there. And I feel like a lot of these companies, um, like like these Wet n Wild and these like Elf and those kind of things, um, they have it here, but they only go up to like a certain shade and then they don't sell any of the darker shades if, they, if the company even sells darker shades. So whenever I go and try and pick up some, so I was lucky enough to be able to find um, 
two of these. They match the skin so well and I'm just so impressed. So the first one I got is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Mahogany. Um, this wasn't even in their darkest shade. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure they had one that was even darker than this, which is super great to see. And then I also got the Black Radiance True Complexion BB Cream, SPF 15. I still don't know what a BB cream is. Like I know what a CC cream is, but I really don't know what a BB cream is. But like this worked so well on my face. I posted a picture on my like personal Instagram and I just had this on my face and it literally looked like my face was like airbrush. It was crazy. So I'm obsessed with this and it's got SPF and you can never go wrong with some SPF in your life. So picked up those two foundations. I think that was it for makeup. Um okay, we'll do the stuff in here. So, oh wait, actually, let's do these. So when I went to what store was it? Target. Um, they have this company called Carol's Daughter, and I've heard of them before. First, I got the Carol's Daughter Black Vanilla Leave-In Conditioner. Um, this smells incredible, and I decided to pick up this. And then I also put this in a, ooh, in a little container, in a bag, because it was kind of getting messy. But I picked up the Carol's Daughter um, Sulfate-Free Shampoo. Uh, I just don't get why it's spilling everywhere. Um, yeah, I think the lid's not tight enough, but anyways. When I went to the mall, there's a store called Q, shopfashionq.com. This right here, I picked up so much stuff from them. It's very similar to Forever 21, I think. Um, like, relatively the same price, and like a lot of those trendier pieces. But um, as some of you guys may know, I'm doing a pageant, the Beauty of Africa pageant. So I decided to pick up a couple things, like jewelry pieces, I guess. Um, so the first one is quite extra, but I picked up this necklace. I also got this necklace choker. Oh wait, hold on. Does this one have a price? Oh yeah. So this one was $10.99 and then this one was $3.99 and it's just a really pretty choker. Um, then I got these earrings as well, which were $1.99. Let's see what else we've got. Okay, so from that cute store, I also got some belts, but it came in a set of three like this. And I want to say it was like, like seven or eight dollars. So I got this belt from Ross, I think. Yeah. So um, it's just a plain black belt. I love belts with gold at the top. Are these ones gold? Yes, these ones are gold. Um, I just wear a lot of gold jewelry and I really like all my medals to match. Let's start with the first one. So, totally stepping way, 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 way out of my comfort zone. But I bought these shoes from a company called Rampage and they just look like this. And I never thought I'd be wearing something like this, but I saw them and I just like fell in love with them. These are from TJ Maxx and they were, I wanna say, oh wait, perfect. $16.99, um, so I got these. I got a pair of sh shoes, flip-flop sandals, I don't know, that are like literally the exact same as those ones. They're kind of like dusty because I've been wearing them so much. These ones in black, which if I could get every shoe color, I'd get them in black, but these ones only came in nude, so I was like, you know what? Step out of my comfort zone, try something different. Got these from Target, and the company is A New Day. I'm guessing. So I got those. These were literally like $12. These um, from the pageant. I originally went with a plan to get like um, kind of like just slimmer heels, something a bit more like sexy kind of thing. Um, but I know myself and I know I'm only going to wear those um, like just for the pageant. If I'm ever, like even going somewhere nice or even going to the club, like I like to wear like a thicker heel just because it's so much more comfortable. So got those. And then I got these shoes, which were on my list of things to actually get, so I'm super happy about that. Got these from Target, Massimo Supply Co, um, $24.99. I have a pair of these already, but the ones I have are like um, like leather at the top um, instead of this, I don't know what type this is. But um, I just love these shoes, I really do. Don't know what they're called. They're just like really casual slip-ons really trying to stick to like my list like I had a list of like okay Mena, we're not gonna go crazy and buy a bunch of things just because you're in America like you're gonna be like chill about it like you know so um that didn't happen clearly because I bought a bunch of other things that were not even on the list at all so um we're gonna get into clothes so we're gonna start off with these pants 
and they've got that like really cool stripe that so many people have been wearing lately and I'm obsessed and I'm loving them. So I got these pants and I got them from Ross and they were like $9.99. Oh, and I got the other pants I got. Hold up. Hold up. I also got the exact same ones, which I'll probably end up giving to my sister because her favorite color is yellow, which I'm starting to love the color yellow now too. And I got these like in a pretty big size though. So I got this one in a large and this one in an extra large just because I like them to kind of be like flowy and really big. So I got that and again, see, this one was $9.99 as well from Ross. And that is the store you definitely have to go to. I find it pretty affordable and they have a lot of like cute trendy stuff and they have like home decor, which I got this, I might as well show it to you now. Um, they have like home decor, they have shoes, they have clothing pieces, like they just have like everything there, like luggage. It's like a one-stop shop. So they have so much there and I'm obsessed with that store. So, but along with, oh my gosh, there's little pieces everywhere, but along with those pants, I got this pillow from Ross. Yes, guys, I totally fit this into my suitcase, a full-size suitcase of this, and I was able to fit this in. This was a must. It was only, it was $9.99, and these kind of pillows, like, as you can see, I'm, like, obsessed with pillows. It's kind of my thing. Pillows here cost so much, so when this was only $9.99, which is, like, what, $13 Canadian, I jumped on it, and I was, like, I need it. Okay, so also from Ross, um, so I got these pants, um, these just nice, big, flowy pants. Uh, they're navy. We got these from Ross. These were like $13, I think. And they've got a nice little drawstring, and they're just so cute. So I got so many compliments on these. These people are like, just living your best life. They're kind of like super flowy at the bottom, so they're a little like, I don't know. I was told that I look very hippie. I don't know. But um, yeah, so I got those ones. This scarf. So, um, oh my gosh, this pillow is literally everywhere. That is not cute. Anyways. So I want to start like wrapping my hair. Um, I've seen like girls, um, like the way you wrap it like a turban style or something like that. I really want to do that more with my hair. I have friends who do it. Um, and I also have like Muslim friends who wrap um, their hair with the hijab as well, um, which I look think looks so beautiful on them. But I'm, like if I don't feel like doing anything with my hair, I just feel like wrapping would be super fun and easy. So I bought this to do that with. You can do uh, Q, which is that store that I showed you guys before with the yellow bag. Um, hopefully I can shop them online. So then I got this two-piece set and if you guys follow me on Instagram, which if you do, I love you and if you don't, you should. I asked you guys what you guys thought of me getting this two-piece set. Um, it was on the shorter side. Like it was actually, like it's pretty, the shorts are pretty short. So this is the bottom. Let me show you that first. Um, and this is the top. This was $24 um, American, which is like 30 something dollars I want to say $31 um, Canadian which I guess for a two-piece set that really isn't a lot quality's really good too though like that's another thing I'm so impressed with the quality it's not see-through at all um, yeah so I love this is this top and you guys are like what the heck this looks like a child's top but I've seen these all over Instagram and I'm like I wasn't sure about it this was really stuff this whole trip was stepping in my comfort zone like I literally booked the trip a couple days before uh, I went so the whole trip was just like very spontaneous and very like just different and new for me But you put it on and it's got these like little baby sleeves on it And um, I really like this the red color as you can see just pops and I'm like obsessed with that I got this in the large because as you can see it's really tiny, but it does stretch and this was like $13 I might be wrong. Are we not focused? <laughs> Thank you. Um, I have been so obsessed with two tops like literally loving them and like as you can see I'm so obsessed with this like the stripe situation so I got this tube top and I haven't worn it yet. Got it in a large. Um, yep. I got this like tank top. Pretty short. It looks really small but it's in a large. And it just cuts uh, straight across the top which I've been loving that style. I also got a t-shirt dress and it's just a basic t-shirt dress like this. Um, it's got a red and green neckline along with the sleeves are like that as well. We're moving on to Forever 21. I thought I'd find a lot more because I'm normally super excited to go that Forever 21. It's two floors and it's really nice. But um, I find Forever 21 so overwhelming. Oh, I don't know why I bought so small, but it fits because I've worn it already. So I've been loving this color. I got so many compliments when I was wearing this color. It's just so bright and it looks so good on my skin tone. So I got this. It's just a tank top with thicker sleeves on it. It's this super cute red bodysuit. And the back of it is caged. $12.99 as I said. And again, it cuts straight across. Because if I could have every top like that, I totally would. Um, got that. This top. They call it a 
um, black cream halter top, $14.90 in a size large, and it just ties up at the top, ties up at the back. The whole entire back is open, and I was just like, I need to have the shirt. I fell in love with it. So that was the last thing that I got. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe. And uh, stay tuned for more videos. And I will also link the rest of the LA vlogs that I did because I really did try and vlog like, almost every day, and, like kind of fit into like four videos. So I will link those down below. But um, definitely stay tuned for more uh, this summer. Hopefully, I'm going to be get on a real YouTube schedule with my sister. I'm going to try and plan that. Um, find that out so we'll be uploading a bit more and get more consistent but uh yeah thank you guys for watching see you guys